Hello, my friends. This is Phil again, and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to show you uh, the one of the new weapons coming with this DLC, the plasma gutter. Uh, I want what I want to do is I want to compare it with uh, the currently supposed to be the strongest two-handed weapon, the wall glaive. Okay, I'm not doing a, a full comparison or full review of each weapons because Angry Turtle already did very good review video on them uh, what i'm trying to do here is trying to compile them in a practical way uh, in other words i want to compare them uh, in the way that player will actually use them in the game so as angry turtles showed in his video that these two weapon should be used with the electrified mode to actually get the best results Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to compare these two weapons. Uh, both of them are electrified. And then in the second part of this video, I actually want to show you something very interesting that I discovered during the producing of this video. I just figured out there are tricks uh, which can actually make the power attack of the melee weapon even more powerful. Okay, so stay tuned to the later part of the video and you will see how you're gonna do that. All right, so now let's start with the actions. I'm using my full health build. Uh, it's not specified for any two-handed or single-handed weapon. Uh, I only use incisor and martial artist to actually boost the damage for melee weapons. And I removed the adrenaline to reduce the variety of the damage uh, during the test as well. Uh, I left the blood mass within to increase the damage and my legendary perk doesn't have anything specific to boost the, the melee damage as well now we can modify the plasma cutter with the electrified mode it's called shocking blade this mode gives you more physical damage and then we modify the wall glaive as well to give the shocking blade which convert the physical damage into physical damage as well as any damage now let's go to find some silver mutant okay there's a 60 legendary that's a good one so the damage is actually 134 149 149 if we change to the wall glade you can see it has 179 damage if we use normal attack and the power damage is actually 30 uh, 387 it's almost doubled the normal damage so after comparing these two we can clearly see that the wall glaive has slightly higher damage than the plasma cutter plasma cutter has a faster swing speed i will prefer to use plasma cutter then after this testing i will show you something more interesting i was trying to find out how many power attacks i can swing with the full ap if we do it in the first person without power armor one two three now let's try glaives one two three three times as well now we empower armor one two three four we can do four swings which is one more than normal armor if we try claiming power armor, first person, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five swings, which is one more than the glaives. And if we try third person in power armor with plasma cutter, one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten what happened we spent ten times in third person one two three four five six you see some power attack doesn't actually cost us any aps now let's try the glaive in third person in power armor 
One, two, three, four. So four times, the same as in first person in power armor, but let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We did actress win this time. Why? Because one of the power attack doesn't cost us AP in the third person when we're using power armor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, we did seven swings. Ah, the last one doesn't count. It's even once more than previous try. Now we use the plasma gutter. One, two, three, four, five. So in first person in power armor, we can still only do five swings, which is consistent with the previous previous test. We're gonna try it again. One two, three, four, five. So it is consistent. So in first armor, so in first view in power armor, it's always consistent, five swings. Now let's try third person without power armor with the plasma gutter. One, two, three, now three times. Okay, let's try it again. Let's wait for the AP to refill. One, two, three. You see, the third power attack doesn't cost us any AP. And let's try the glaive in third person. One, two, three. Okay, three times. Let's try it again. Let's, um, this one doesn't count. We have to wait until the AP fully recharged. Okay, one, two, three, four. So the third power swing doesn't cause us AP again. Okay, so after all the testing, I'm trying to summarize all the findings in this page. So here you can see a form that I listed, I listed the number of power attacks my character, my character can do with a full AP in four dimensions. With or without power armor, whether it's going to be first person or third person view. Okay, and you can see here when we do the power attack in the first person view without any power armor we can swing three times before we run out of AP for both the glaive and the plasma cutter if we actually change the view from the first person to third person then we have a very <laughs> we have a non-fixed value here as you just saw in the video it depends on, I don't know why, what factor is actually affecting the results, but you can swing various times to run out your AP. For the glaives, you can see we actually have three to six times of power attack before we run out of AP. Not in the power armor, in the third person. is for for the plasma cutter we can swing three to five times before we run out ap then if we jump in the power armor in the first person view the wall glaive can swing four times while the plasma cutter can swing five times before the ap is running out and you can see here plasma cutter do you have the advantage to grant you one extra power attack if you are in first person mode and in the power armor. And if you actually change the view from first person to third person, then again we have a various result 
during the testing. Uh, for the wall glaive, we have four to seven times the power attack. And for the plasma cutter, we have five to eight times of power attack before we run out of AP. And uh, I, I don't know what exactly happening here, but to summarize the form, we can say, if you are using a melee weapon and if you prefer to use power attack, then what you should do is to jump in the power armor, okay? That will guarantee you more power attacks for the same amount of AP. And if you want to improve that even further, you should actually use third person view when you do the power attack. Because if you just click the uh, click the attack button, sorry, the power attack button quick enough, you can steal some extra power attacks. I don't know why, but uh, it's, it's just happening uh, in this game. So the final recommendation for melee power attack is using power armor, using third person view, so you can generate more power attacks using the same amount of AP. All right, I think, I hope this is gonna be helpful for you uh, when you doing this mini characters in your daily operation, daily, daily farming, questing stuff. And that's all for today. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video and please click, click like. And if you can, it's gonna be really appreciated if you can subscribe to my channel. All right, thank you very much. And that's all for today. Feel again, out.